video, we're going to talk about how to verify that two functions are inverses. We can use this idea. Two functions f of x and g of x are inverses if f of g of x equals x and g of f of x equals x. And so it's very important to remember this and here because both parts must be satisfied in order for the two functions to be inverses. So if you think about this, this actually makes sense, right? Because what we said is that an inverse has the opposite operations of the original function. So it would make sense that if we compose a function and its inverse, that you'd end up with just x, right? Because all the operations would undo each other, and so you'd be left with x. And so that's why it works in the opposite direction also. So what we're going to do is we're going to first verify that f of g of x equals x, and then we'll verify that g of f of x equals x. So if both of these compositions equal x, then that means that the functions are inverses. So let's try an example. Let's determine whether f of x equals 3x plus 9 and g of x equals 1 3rd x minus 3 are inverses. So I'm going to start off by figuring out f of g of x. So f of g of x is just going to be f of 1 3rd x minus 3. And so I'm going to go to f and I'm going to plug in 1 3rd x minus 3 for x. So I have 3 times 1 3rd x minus 3 and then plus 9. So remember, when I'm simplifying this, I need to use the distributive property. So I'm going to multiply both these terms by 3. So 3 times 1 third is just 1. So that's just going to give me 1x. So I have x minus, and then 3 times 3, which is 9. And then I have plus 9. Well, notice here when I combine like terms, my minus 9 and plus 9 are going to make 0. So that's just going to leave me with x. So now let's verify the second part of this definition. Let's verify that g of f of x is equal to x. So g of f of x is going to be g of 3x plus 9. So I'm going to take 3x plus 9 and plug it into the function g. So I have 1 third times 3x plus 9 and then minus 3. So remember, I need to distribute this 1 third. So 1 third times 3x is going to give me x plus 1 third times 9 well, that's going to be 3, and then I have minus 3. So plus 3 and minus 3 are going to make 0, and so once again we have x. So we can say that these two functions are inverses because we've verified both parts of the definition, right? f of g of x equals x, and g of f of x equals x. So now let's determine whether f of x equals 4x squared and g of x equals 2 times the square root of x are inverses. So let's start off by figuring out f of g of x. So f of g of x is going to be f of 2 times the square root of x. So I'm going to go to f and I'm going to plug in 2 times the square root of x. So I have 2 square root of x squared. Well, and then remember the property of exponents. Remember that when we're squaring a product, that exponent is actually going to go to both terms on the inside. right? So this is going to be the same as 4 times 2 squared times the square root of x squared. So that's going to be 4 times 2 squared, which is 4. And then we have the square root of x squared, which is x. So that's going to give me 4 times 4 times x. So that's going to be 16x. So we can already see that these two functions are not going to be inverses, because if one part isn't equal to x, then automatically it doesn't work. So these two functions are not inverses. So now you can go ahead and pause the video and try doing this example on your own. So here we have f of x equals x plus 5 and g of x equals x minus 5. So if I plug in x minus 5, I get x minus 5 plus 5, which does simplify to x. If I do g of x plus 5, I get x plus 5 minus 5, which does equal x. So since both parts equal x, these two functions are inverses. So now you can go ahead and pause the video and try doing this example on your own. So here we have x plus 6 squared and square root of x minus 6, right? So when we plug in g of x, we have f of the square root of x minus 6. So that simplifies to the square root of x squared, and so that's x. Um, then we plug in x plus 6 squared for x, and so that gives us the square root of x plus 6 squared minus 6. So that's just x plus 6 minus 6, which leaves us with x. So since both of these, f of g of x and g of f of x equal x, these two functions are inverses. So remember that you can verify that two functions, f of x and g of x, are inverses using the relation if f of g of x equals x 
and g of f of x equals x, then f of, g, f of x and g of x are inverses.